My name is Mary Lee Chin, and I'm a registered dietitian. I've been practicing in the field of dietetics and nutrition for 30 years. Today, nutrition is more exciting than it's ever been. And in particular, new technologies like food biotechnology for the production of food, being able to put more nutrients in foods and make them more nutritionally dense are very exciting areas. It's not surprising to me that people are concerned about any new type of food or food production method that comes on the market. But as a registered dietitian, I can assure them that the regulatory oversight, the research and development that has gone into it produces the good food that ends up on their dinner plate. There really aren't any foods these days that have been untouched. They've been crossbred either by accident in nature or deliberately in terms of producing better foods, higher yields, and more nutritious foods. Food biotechnology is the new way of doing it more precisely and accurately. The old methods you were crossing tens of thousands of genes. This way you identify the characteristic that you want, you select the gene that provides a characteristic, and put it in the end product. And you don't get those unwanted genes and unwanted characteristics. It's a more efficient way of doing it too. And to me it's a safer way of doing it. My own professional organization, the American Dietetic Association, has come out with a stance that advocates food biotechnology and reinforces its safety. There are many other health professional organizations, such as the American Medical Association, um, then international organizations like the World Health Organization, which also support the safety of food biotechnology. And not only because of the benefit from the safety perspective, but also because of the nutritional benefits and its ability to potentially feed hungry people in the world. And through food biotechnology, if we can produce food that is tolerant to low temperatures, or will grow in soils of high salinity, or increase yield, or increase our shelf life, that can only be of benefit to a population that's growing in the world and needs to be fed.